Well, I guess it's finally that time. I didn't want to have to be the one to break it to you, but... Nobody poops but you. Nobody poops. Nobody poops but you. Yeah. Look, I know what you're thinking. What a stupid joke. I come here for only the finest, most rigorous, and research-laden videos about Flubber. Cease your scatological inquiries immediately. Cease, or I unsubscribe. But that's a risk I'm willing to take, because there's only one of you, and there's one of me. Which means, all told, there's roughly equal amounts of both of us. That's math. Wow! You know what else is math? One out of 7.7 .7 billion people on this earth poop. And that's you. You're the pooper. You're more likely to be struck by a shark and bit by lightning at the same time than to be born a pooper. And yet here you are, blithely pooping away like some sort of filthy poop mongrel. So how did we get here? How did you get to be the age that you are, an age that I know so well I don't have to verbalize it, without knowing that you're the only one out here pooping? I'm just pooping. You know how I be. Why didn't anyone tell you? Why did it have to be me? Huh? Why is it always me? But we all have our crosses to bear, right? And mine? Mine's talking about your butt. So let's get into it. Quick recap. Back in the beginning of time, God made all the things. And then a little bit later, he made some more of all the things. And that's when humans were made, at the tail end of the things. Before God stopped making stuff altogether. Which brings us to now, where stuff and humans are. Now, everyone agrees, regardless of political ideology or cube affiliation, that God made us better than all the animals on Earth. But what exactly made us better has been the subject of lively debate for centuries. Is it our ability to use advanced tools? Our affinity for complex language? The Democratic vote for me is right thing to do, Philadelphia. So do. Some say it's our need to create art which sets us apart from the giraffes. The truth is, the only thing separating us from those brutes is that they poop and we don't. Besides the fact that it's gross and bad, pooping presents a very real evolutionary hazard. Humanity never would have lasted this long if we were poopers. The noise and smell of our constant bowel movements would have scared away any potential prey and alerted all nearby predators. We would have been mincemeat, folks. But we didn't have to worry about that because no one in the entirety of human history had ever pooped. Until you, that is. At this point, you might be thinking, well, he's clearly not talking about me. He's probably talking about the chump next to me or some other putts watching this video. But of, of course I'm talking about you. You know you poop. You know what you do in the bathroom. To which you might respond, ah, yes, the bathroom. But if it's true that no one poops, then why does everyone have a toilet? But the truth is the toilets were never meant for pooping in. True, you've been pooping in them for most of your life, but that's just because you're a deviant. The rest of us have been using them for their intended purpose, disposing of spiders and fish and, on rare occasions, small mice. When people say, I have to poop, it's really just a euphemism for, I've just caught a large spider and I wish to drown it in the swirling vortex of pain. The urgency with which they remove themselves is directly related to the size and terror quotient of the spider they're holding. And because spiders are disgusting and terrible, no polite person will ever directly tell you what they are doing. Nor will they show you the spider for fear it will escape. But rest assured, that's what's happening. This is what toilets have always been for. Hold on, you rebut. What about diapers? Aristotle always said that the existence of a diaper implies the existence of a pooper. But once again, you're fundamentally misunderstanding the purpose of an object. Diapers aren't for pooping in. I mean, clearly they're not designed for that. Where would the poop even go? The fabric isn't going to absorb it. You're telling me that it's just going to sit in there where your butt is? And there's just going to be poop all over your butt? <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. Diapers are for pee. And while it's true that the majority of your life you should never have to pee, sometimes when you're very young and don't know anything, or when you're old and your body is disintegrating, accidents happen. But wait. You respond, your voice weak, your confidence sundering along with the shattered reality you seem to inhabit. I, I can't be the only one who poops. What, a, what about poop jokes, huh? Everyone makes poop jokes. Everyone's been making poop jokes. Cuneiform literally means poop words, huh? So what about that? And it's true. People have been making poop jokes for a long time. But where you assumed poop jokes were funny because they were a lowest common denominator, a fundamental aspect of the human condition that not only tied all of us together, but connected us to the very earth we walk upon. Where you saw poop as an immutable truth, we saw it as an absurdity. An amusing hypothetical. We laugh at poop for the same reason we laugh at Steve Harvey. Because it doesn't exist. Can you imagine the most advanced beings in the universe being unable to absorb most of the mass they put into their body? That's insanity. That's what cows do. Look, I'm on a level with you. The fact that you poop makes me immeasurably uncomfortable, and the implications are pretty dire. 
The fact that not pooping is what distinguishes us as God's chosen people means that you're in a bit of a rough spot. Is it possible for you to go to heaven? Are you even human? Will your poop-filled soul ever truly know peace? I don't know the answers to these questions. It's just, you know, something to think about. But no, you say. I, I've, I've seen other people poop. I've witnessed it. I, I've seen the poop, and the poop has seen me. But as with everything else in your silly poop life, you're incorrect. Those videos you've seen online? Image manipulation, just like this video. You think this is my true form? No, it's just an approximation. But you don't understand. I've seen these horrors. I've seen them with my very own eyes. I was there. I was there. But oh, you fool. You absolute fool. Did you never even stop to consider that maybe the fecal matter you were seeing, that maybe all of that poop you had seen and touched in your life, maybe all of that was really an elaborate system of mirrors? You idiot. <laughs> <laughs>